which is very important one that we have in our body and that is called the connective tissue. Connective tissue. Now let us define connective tissue. What is connective tissue? Friends, let me make it very simple for you guys. Wherever these tissues are present, these three tissues in our body, at any place we have these tissues, there will be the presence of this fourth tissue. What I mean to say is that this tissue is present in all those areas of our body where these three other tissues are present, right? So, if there is any muscular tissue, there will be connective tissue. If there is any nervous tissue, there will be connective tissue. If there is epithelial tissue, there will be connective tissue, right? So, this connective tissue is present everywhere in our body where all these three other tissues present. Why? Because this tissue is there to support other tissues. This connective tissue is present everywhere where all these epithelial and nervous and muscular tissue is present. Why? Because this tissue supports all these other three types of tissues which are present in our body. Right? So, we define this tissue as the tissue which support other tissues of our body that is called connective tissue, right? The tissue, okay, the tissue which support other tissues of our body. Body, right? We call those this tissue as connective tissue. Let me give you an example here, right, or here. If we say there is our epithelia, right, this is the epithelial tissue. So, everywhere in our body where the epithelial tissue is present, below the epithelial tissue, there must be a basement membrane, right, friends. Below the epithelial tissue, there is a basement membrane, right? And my dear friends, this basement membrane is actually a connective tissue, right? This basement membrane is actually a connective tissue. Now, look carefully. If we take off this basement membrane from this area of the tissue, what will happen? these cells of this epithelial tissue, look, below the epithelial tissue you had connective tissue, but if you remove that connective tissue, these cells will die, right? So, we say this for the life of these epithelial cells or epithelial tissue, connective tissue is very important. That is why I have written here that the tissue which support other tissues of your body, we call that connective tissue, right friends? If you have a muscle here, look friends, this is a piece of your skeletal muscle, right? Making a very simple diagram. Look, above your muscle, you have this special protective layer, right? This is called the epimysium, what we call it pyrimysium and this pyrimysium, what is this or we sorry, we call it epimysium and this epimysium is connective tissue, right friends. Now look, if there is no cover around your muscle, something can damage the muscle. So, that is why this connective tissue layer, layer is there to protect it, to protect the muscle, right? Then, you know that here is the bone. For example, this is the bone and this skeletal muscle is, is attached to this bone and who is there to attach this skeletal muscle to this bone? 
what is this this is a connective tissue right so wherever these epithelial and nervous and muscular tissues are present in our body there will be the connective tissues present right so connective tissue is present everywhere in your body and the most abundant tissue in your body is your connective tissue right so below the epithelial tissue you have connective tissue around the muscular tissues you have connective tissues in between the inside the nervous tissue you have connective tissue and you know below the epithelial tissue you have connective tissue so connective tissue is there around any tissue any other tissue of your body so that's why we have defined we have definition for this tissue is that the tissue which support other tissues of your body this is called connective tissue right friends okay so this was just the introduction of the tissues which are present in our body and i have discussed what is tissue a group of cells a colony of cells a group of structurally and functionally same cells or we say a group of parenchymal and transient cells make a tissue right and these are the four types of tissue which are present in our body and now in the next lecture we will have different different lectures about each tissue and their types and their structure and their composition so i will give all those lectures in the next coming time right friends now what are the functions of the tissues in our body right so the functions of the tissues is that all our body is made up of tissues so these tissues make us these tissues make our body right so uh, after that we will uh, also see that uh, while we will discuss about the muscular tissue this tissue helps us in movement right skeletal muscles these tissues help to pump the blood for example cardiac muscles these tissues help to regulate the blood uh, the, uh, regulate the blood pressure for example in your vessels you have smooth muscles these tissues help you to uh, to uh, in, in respiration in breathing right and we know that these tissues help to make you aware of your body right so nervous tissue and the epithelial tissue the protective tissue the secretory tissue right so we will have uh, different lectures and we will discuss the functions of each and we will discuss the structure and composition of each tissue in a big detail inshallah so friends this was just an introduction to the tissues now in the next lecture we will start we will begin from the epithelial tissue and then we will go forward and we will discuss all the tissues in big detail so see you guys in the next lecture